Um, hello, welcome to another Jurassic World Hammond review, Hammond collection review. As you can see, we've got three here. These babies are off today, but we're only looking at two of them, because as they are the same. First one, we're looking at Blue and the Male Raptor from Jurassic Park Three, and oh god, and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Jurassic World, I mean. There you go. Get a nice good close-ups. There's your applier to a product shot, so they're enough the same. So we're gonna look at blue, but blue has something different in her eyes compared to the male raptor, right? I got these today. I got this one in the sale. I bought this bad boy in the sale, which we'll have a look at in a minute. Right, further ado, I will need to get my snizzers and cut them both out of their boxes. I you know how to open the bloody damn box. Because I've got some comparisons to do. I have some comparisons to do. With the original. Oh God, there we are. Anyway, that's, that's all going to be recyclable in a minute later anyway. So, later tonight anyway, so. It's recyclable anyway, later anyway. Here's blue. I've got, I've got one is blue. You all know it's blue. You all know blue. From Jurassic World. And she was an anti-hero in Fallen Kingdom. She was a hero in Fallen Kingdom. I could be a daredevil. I could be a daredevil and get Indominus help, but I can't be asked to go and get it. Only, I can't say it's only just behind me. I can't mind it's only behind me. So you know, it's behind me. Um, so I have to put... Oh, that should be it. I'm going to turn on our books again. Yes, I'm in the middle of watching Wild Boys, season 4 of from the same makers of Jackass. Well, there's Blue without her tail at the moment. There's Blue without her tail at the moment. I'll put that on in a minute. I'll put that on in a minute. I might as well do the other one when I'm at it. Because, as you know, this is a double review, by the way. If you're, if you're expecting a single review out of this one, you're not going to get it from me. You're not going to get it from me, mate. You're not going to get it from me. Because as they're theoretically near enough the same figures. So that's why I'm putting them together. Whoosh, the male raptor from Jurassic Park 3. The male raptor from Jurassic Park 3. Have his mouth shut. I've got to break it. I've got to break his hands off. So tell me, who's your favourite? Let me know who your favourite raptors. Do you like the Atrociraptors? Do you like the Losoraptors? Unless you're a hardcore fan, you like them all. Unless you're a hardcore fan, you like them all. Well, I like Ghost from the Atrociraptors. Oh, damn it! How hard are these is to get off? Oh, I hate these little bands. Got an opening. These are a pain. These are a pain to take off. Particularly on the raptors. Particularly on the raptors. Particularly on the smaller raptors. I did have the option to get another. But I really spent my chance this week on that. There we are. Had to get rid of it. Right, there's the male raptor from Jurassic Park 3. There's the male raptor. Right, first of all, I'd better put the tails on them. Don't do what I did last time. Just don't do what I did last time. Like, I pulled the tail off the, the cavernator. Well, we are going to need a medium-sized carnivore anyway. For comparison... I'll go and get my cavernator ready as well from the same series. Now, when I put Blue's tail... <laughs> there we are. Just got to put her tail on. Yeah, I've got to put her tail on. I've got to put her tail on. Is her tail on? No, her tail is not on yet. <clears throat> now it is. There we are. Well, the male, the male, as I said before, the male, the male raptor was in, introduced in Jurassic Park three, and then Blue was introduced in Jurassic World. 
and an ant and an ant and a hero in Fallen Kingdom. <coughs> the one we don't want to talk about. Anyway, they've got the same amount of articulation. Two in the head, three in the head, including the jaw. But I forgot to mention that on the cavernator. Forgot to mention this on the cavernator. If you don't look closely at the eye, the eye looks like translucent if you look in the eye. That's quite cool. As I say, it's got three bits of articulation. Two in the head, neck and jaw and the neck. And neck. There we go. Two in, two in the arms. And one, two, three and two, two, two in the leg. And one on the foot. You've got a swivel on the foot. Right. For comparison, there it is with the cavernator. That look now that looks more in scale now. Now that looks in scale with the medium sized carnivores now. I'll put a card on there for the cavernator. <laughs> if you really want to go down that line, if you want to really go down that line. It's a comparison for the both of them with the Kano. With with Tor is either is either Demon or Toro. Tell me which Fallen Kingdom Kano do you think it is? It's either Toro or Toro or Demon. <laughs> now let's put the original Raptors in. There you go. Look at them. Look at them. No articulation on these Raptors. And there's another one as well. Whoa, well, let's, let's, let's move you two out the way. Let's move you out the way for a minute, buddy. Because I've got a special comparison between the two blues. I have a special comparison between the two blues. Here's the Hammond Collection blue. And here's the other blue. Here's the original. There's my second version of blue. There you go. Which one do you prefer? I actually prefer this one more. <laughs> I prefer the Hammond Collection version of blue. Yes. Clever girl. Yes. Now, I forgot to mention in the Cavernator review as well, is about the tail articulation. As I forgot to mention in the Cavernator review, that the tail can move as well. The tail can have some articulation. Is the tail. Tail can have articulation as well. Oh, God, I've be careful. I've got to be careful. I don't. I don't want. I don't want. Don't want. Don't want. Don't want history repeating itself like happened with the Magna Guard, with my Magna Guard, <laughs> with my Magna Guard, with the Magna Guard that has that I broke its foot. That I broke the foot of the Magna Guard. There we are. Two different Raptors. You got two different Raptors. You got. A, this is a male, by the way. If you don't want, as I as it was described on the purchase, this is a male. As you can tell, there's quills on the top. Not very good details of the quills on the top of the Spraptor. But it's shown better on the Indoraptor. Yeah, it's supposed to have quills on top. Shows it's a male. There we go. I love these things. I love these things. So here's the other one for the collection. Here's the other one. Right. If you like the Hammond collection, if you want accurate Raptors... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hold on your horses for a minute. Before I jump the collusion, I've got one more comparison to do. And that is the and that is the Amber Collection Raptor. The only the only Amber Collection Raptor I've got is Delta. Look at the size of that! That's definitely not accurate. And that is Delta. I just hope they do a Delta in that size. I hope we can have the Raptor Squad in that size. Because that's more accurate. That's more accurate for about 12 inch figures. These are more accurate. Yeah. That is a monster. Anyway. <laughs> it's the Raptors. It's the Hammond. Oh god. I've got the blue. Yeah. I forgot to mention in the last review I did. Is. Is this. I forgot about the tail. I forgot about the tail. I forgot the tail articulation. And I'm going to do this now, before I end the video, before I end the video, this was meant to be done in the last video, when I did the Cavernator. 
This was when I was, I was supposed to do this during the Caminator review. Here's the new one. Here's the original. Here's my original. Here's the original Caminator. My eyes is on that one. They both got he's his is this is a lighter colour. He's got more detail, yes. That was all I wanted to present. I'll put a card up there for the Cavernator. Either during the comparison. Oh god. I've got that. Well anyway, let me bring the raptors back in. Let me let me bring these naughty girls or should I say boy and girl back in. Because I'll keep on forgetting he's a male. There we are. If you like him, if you like these figures, I recommend them. For hardcore Jurassic World and Jurassic Park fans. I am I will, I am planning on getting the Demorphodon <laughs> myself, hopefully. Yes. I know I know you all been wanting to have a look in this Carno box, but you have to wait. Yes, anyway, I'll better love you and leave you. I'll better prepare my raptors again for the other video. And to get my three other carnos out. Yes, I will see you in the next video.